I don't know why I felt like this was a little bit like don't trust the bee but like to a supernatural extreme what a delicious <laughs> yeah um I love any opportunity to be like you know doing something different and over the top and this character was just like too much fun for me Hey there, it's Kristen, and today we're talking with Kristen Ritter about her brand new Netflix film, Nightbooks. I kept thinking, like, I'm like, following your career for so long, is this your first family-friendly, um, you know, like, kids film that you've, that you've done? Yes, I think so. I um, would have to run an inventory myself, but I, I, I think this is the, yes, this is my first and only family-friendly movie. <laughs> So what drew you to it? What made you want to get involved in, in Nightbooks? Yeah, so the character, first and foremost, um, really just popped up the page and I felt like I could have just so much fun. I love an opportunity where a character is unpredictable and unexpected. And one minute she is like deliciously fabulous. And the next minute she's funny. And the next minute she's like totally deranged. And next minute she's terrorizing children. So I love the sort of, you know, the colors that I got to play the costumes, the hair and makeup, all of that was so delicious. But really what, um, ultimately it's the, the message of the movie. I loved that the movie was about a kid who is different and does this thing that maybe makes him like weird and it ends up being the thing that makes him really special and awesome. So I love the message of the movie um, as like a weird kid myself, I, I was like, this is so up my alley. I am um, just in love with the movie for that reason. I really found the witch's story to be so fascinating because you kind of dive into that idea of hurt people hurting people, yes. but also that idea of like, what happens after you've been in a supernatural situation? Like, how can you just go back to normal life? Like, could, could you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, that was the thing. It was nice to sort of have that rich backstory to draw from because she was a kid just like them who, you know, went missing for a long time and had nowhere to go and, and took the opportunity to, you know, get some magic and enjoy that magic and make, make, um, make the most of her situation. Um, but yeah, she definitely, she definitely loves having her magic. And that's part of the character that, that I enjoy playing so much. You're working with this, this young uh, duo of, of actors that are, that are still relatively new to the industry. Um, was there any like advice that you were able to give them? Or, you know, what was it like kind of working with them? I thought they would just do such a great job. Winslow has already worked so much in his young, young, young career. Um, he's such a pro. Um, he was a great scene partner. Um, and then Lydia and I had so much fun together and she's just so sweet and so beautiful. She got presents from my baby son and we had the best time in the hair and makeup trailer. Um, you know, it was, it was an interesting dynamic because sometimes the kids would turn into pumpkins at like five o'clock. So we would then like film the scene with, if they're not on camera, I was maybe acting with like a tennis ball on a C-stand. So it was like, it was definitely, um, you know, an interesting thing to do and, and during COVID. But for me, uh, the character was always performing and always putting on this like show. So uh, it all really worked really beautifully and organically. And you know what I think is so great is we ended a place where there still is a little bit more story to tell if you guys wanted to do that. Would you want to come back for a Nightbook sequel? I would 100% want to come back for a Nightbook sequel because I think that there is more story to tell and I think it's a really rich world and a really imaginative, artistic, creative world. And I, I know I am dying to know what Natasha is up to when she leaves that apartment. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. Great to meet you. You too. You too. If you like this one, you can check out more of my interviews right over here and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.